All right, folks, I continue to get questions regarding my buckets and how I manage them. Okay, so I'm going to give this another try. This is not a problem with you guys. This is a teacher problem with old Joe here. So we're going to do it another way with a bunch of examples. Okay, now I have three buckets and that works for me. You could do two, you could do four, but I'm after simplicity. And some people think the buckets are complicated. Um, my goal at the end of this is for you to say buckets are easy. Okay. And they make sense, okay? So bucket number one, I have four years of expenses. 95% of that is out of the market. What is the purpose of bucket one? Bucket one's purpose is to manage a bear, keep me from um, making stupid decisions, panicking. When the market goes down by 40, 50%, I think that I got four years of expenses there. So I live a stress-free free retirement. I don't make dumb decisions. And remember, the number one thing that affects your retirement financials is you, the decisions you make. So bucket one really takes off the table panic, okay? And takes off the table panic and adds joy to your retirement. Don't think that's not worth a lot, folks. Think about it right now. How many people are out there with 20% down in market, 9% uh, um, inflation that are panicking, putting off their retirement? Big deal. Remember the purpose of each bucket. Bucket number two, I have four years worth of expenses. I got it in a 60-40 mix of, of stocks to bonds. The purpose of this is to get a good return. A lot of people, their whole portfolio is 60-40, right? They, they 60-40. Um, historically, uh, in five-year periods, the specific funds that I'm in, I like American funds. I like managed funds here, subject for another video. Uh, they haven't lost money in, in five-year. When you look at rolling five-year periods, these have done well. Maybe they've lost like a tenth or something in, in a year or two over the last like 50, 60, 70 years. But hey, this is a really good, safe, long-term thing to do. The purpose of this bucket is to get good returns plus, oh, what else? <laughs> uh, plus uh, serve as an extended bear, extended uh, 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 poor market conditions. Say poor market conditions go six, seven, eight years. You've got this bucket to help you out here. Bucket number three is long-term expenses. I currently have 5% bonds in that, and that's just because one fund has some in it. I really want to push that towards 100%. So those are the buckets, okay? Now, what I do over here, this is the first quarter. These are four examples. Quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. They could be consecutive, but it's four examples. And uh, I'm going to do another maybe three, four examples on the, when I erase all this. Okay, so it's quarter one. I haven't looked at anything for 90 days. And at the end of the first quarter, the market's up 5%. What I can do is I'll look at buckets two and three, look at their, their values. Remember, this one's four years target. This kind of is a spillover. I can actually top off bucket one. So after the first quarter, this will be at three years and eight months, right? Three years and nine months, sorry, three years and nine months. So you can top that off because remember, it's here to attack a bear. So that's what you can do with a 5% jump, or you could do nothing. Most likely, I'll tell you with 5%, that minimal jump, I'd probably do nothing, especially if this was at, you know, three years, nine months, okay? So then you go to the next quarter and the market's down 10%, do nothing. You're using bucket one for its purpose. These are down just a little bit, do nothing. Okay, market is flat. Action, do nothing. <laughs> Look, notice all the do nothings here. All four of these are, have do nothing in them. Okay, the the uh, last one, market is down twenty percent, and you got nine percent inflation. Oh my gosh, what are you going to do? Actions, do nothing. Now this four years is going to go down not only from the you know the expenses that you paid out, but also the nine percent is going to impact the your expenses over time. So this may have gone down you know, a year, year and a half, uh, when you only consumed maybe, you know, two quarters or three quarters worth of time. So remember, every bucket has its purpose. So I'm going to continue with some more dramatic results and what action you take. So look, look at these, nothing, 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 nothing. I take very little action on my buckets. Once a quarter, look at them. Okay, we're going to continue on another one. Okay, four more examples. Top of this is exactly the same. 
Uh, example number five, the market is down the last three years. You know, it went down 10%, then 20%, then 30%. What action do you take? Do nothing. Remember, in this situation, you got four years of expenses here. You're in year three of that. So let her go. Um, example number six, market is down for five years. Okay. So what action should you take? You just start spending out of bucket two. You don't move all of bucket two over to bucket one. You just start spending on out of bucket two. That's, that's just what you do. Okay. So it's been down for five years. Think about what's going to happen. It's probably going to turn uh, or has already started turning right there. So bucket one's empty. Start spending out of bucket two. That's what you do. Uh, what I do. Example number seven, the market uh, is recovering, but has not reached new highs. So it dropped down 40%. It's come back, but it's not making new highs yet. What action do you take? Do nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, the market is up every year for the last five years. It's up 10%. That's up 20%. It's up 30%. It's up 40%. Okay. What action do you take? You keep bucket one and bucket two filled to serve their purpose. This one has four years of a bear. This one has four years after that in a good 60-40 mix. Good chance if the market is up and up and up and up, you probably will build up too much money in here and you can move money from two to three uh, because remember this just has a purpose here and then you'll have to keep topping off bucket one here. So really every quarter, I do a deep dive in this, the vast majority of the quarters you're going to do nothing vast majority of them do nothing, okay? If the market's up, top off one and two if, if needed. Look at each bucket. Main things you're looking at is bucket one and two and says, am I prepared for a bear market? Yes or no? Am I in a bear market? In a bear market? Let these ride down. They all have a purpose. So if I've confused you in any way, let me know in the questions. I'll keep trying to make videos so you understand what I'm trying to do. Maybe this works for you, maybe not. Uh, I thought maybe this is something you could adapt uh, to make your retirement full of joy, stress-free, and prevent you from making panic moves. This is Joe out.